Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our topic that is introduction to chemistry which we started in our previous lesson. Uh, today I would like us to get into the details about uh, the properties of matter which we learned earlier as being uh, in existence in three states that is solids, uh, liquids and gases. So I'd like us to start with uh, uh, properties of solids and one thing about solids is that they have a definite shape and on this we can be able to say that uh, this solid is rectangular in shape it's oval in shape or whichever the shape it can also be an irregular shape uh, on the other hand uh, solids that means solids do not change uh, their shape their shape will remain as the, as they are unless interfered with uh, then also they have a definite volume and on this we will find that uh, the volume of a solid does not keep on changing with changes in temperature changes in pressure and so on and so forth so def definite volume uh, that means that uh, do not change or does the volume does not change with temperature or pressure uh, the other property about uh, solids is that they cannot be compressed you cannot compress a solid uh, to alter its shape so we can say that uh, they are incompressible they cannot be compressed easily let's say that they cannot be compressed uh, easily and that is because they are particles that's because their particles are very close they are very closely packed the particles that make a solid uh, they are very closely uh, packed uh, we'll also uh, discuss the properties of liquids liquids do not have a definite shape uh, but take the shape of the container in which they are held so you can say that liquids do not have a definite shape but take the shape of the container in which they are held in which they are held so if for example the container is cylindrical then uh, the shape of that liquid inside that particular container will take the cylindrical uh, shape uh, liquids have a definite volume they have a definite volume and the volume is determined by determining the volume of the container that contains that liquid so this one is obtained by determining 
the volume of the container containing the liquid uh, the third property of uh, liquids is that uh, they can be compressed at a very high pressure at a very high pressure at a very high pressure but we are saying that they are not very easily compressed they cannot be easily compressed and of course we are saying that their particles are moderately packed or they are moderately uh, packed from each other Uh, something else about uh, uh, liquids is that uh, they flow easily when let out of their containers. Then the other uh, properties that we shall discuss are the properties of gases. Uh, the properties of gases, one thing about the gases is that uh, they have no definite shape. So we cannot talk of the shape of a certain gas because uh, it will not have a definite shape. Uh, number two, gases also have no definite volume. They have no definite volume because their volume changes with changes in temperature. and pressure so basically that's why a gas cannot occupy a definite uh, volume because the moment the temperature changes or the pressure changes then the volume of the gas will equally change uh, number three in terms of compression Gases are easily compressible. They are easily compressible. They are easy to compress. And that is because the particles are far apart. They are far apart from each other. Their particles are far apart from each other and that's why those particles under application of a certain pressure then the particles can be brought together uh, the other part of the matter that is important to discuss is mixtures and pure substances and on this, we can say that uh, matter exists either as mixtures or as pure substances. Uh, for example, we can say that a pure substance has only one type of matter. Only one particular type of matter can have an example, e.g. something like distilled water. So distilled water has only water, but not any other uh, type of matter. Or on the other hand, we can say that it has no impurities. 
it has no impurities there are no other things that make that distilled water to be impure So all this is a review of some of the areas learned in primary science about matter. And all this is applicable in chemistry. Uh, the other type of matter is a mixture. And we say that a mixture is made of two or more types of matter two or more types of matter and we can say that uh, mixtures are impure they are impure substances we can have an example e.g. tap water Tap water is not pure because it contains some dissolved substances. Maybe there are minerals that are dissolved there and so on and so forth. We can also have something like common salt solution. That also is an example of a mixture. So any substance that has two or more uh, types or kinds of matter is said to be a mixture or is said to be an impure substance. So we'll have an assignment based on what we have learned. So the first question, state three properties of A, solids, B, gases, and then number two, what is a mixture and on these give two examples so we'll stop there for today we'll continue next time goodbye